look at these this one and Robert McGinnis Andrew Loomis Robert McGinnis okay so out of these two w this one and this one which one feels smoother I'm not talking about more beautiful there's she's more beautiful than her because the legs more be are more beautiful because her face is more beautiful but in terms of smoothness this one is smoother because there are lines that are running in this direction you can feel that smoothness over here not much smoothness over here it feels like a plastic doll face because there's no linear parallel things uh, that are going that way look at these these legs there are no lines that are going in any direction not much lines going on over here there there is a linear quality to it parallel lines going this way there are lines going this way you see that that conveys smoothness as opposed to something being flat just a thing just being flat and soft and rendered with a soft brush is not enough to convey smoothness look at this not a lot of quite plastic quite plastic because there are no parallel lines here although you can see a few lines over here like this parallel that's the only thing that is making it feel smooth if these were not here uh, it would feel like a plastic doll look at these parallel lines I would not call this smooth. This is just plastic. There are no parallel lines. Some people call them foam lines. I think of them as parallel lines. You can see parallel lines coming over here. Parallel, parallel, parallel. Therefore, it is smooth. I'm trying to find this piece of paper, which is the ultimate example. Look at this. Parallel lines. Perfect view. Perfect view. These are not... I would not call them form lines. These are parallel lines. Form lines curve along the form. Which you would do if you want the person to feel like the person's entire thigh this way like from here and then this way over here but in most cases parallel lines do just that enough of a touch to give that because you don't want the person to feel the woman everywhere you we want there to be a focal point and you want the person to look we want to say to the person look at this feel here feel over here isn't that cute this is smooth this way feeling her cheek this way look at this he wants you to feel her breast this way her chest but he doesn't want you to feel everywhere this way just just over here he's saying feel over here he's taking control of the hand of your eyes and he's taking control of it he's not requesting you to touch it he's 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 touch he's taking your hand and he's touching it here feel it this way feel it this way feel it this way these are parallel lines these are not form lines form lines make you feel the person everywhere like touch here and here and touch here and here and here and here and like all around the body these would be quite like form lines which are like grabbing her arm this feels like grabbing her arm this way 
if I can show you, like, like you know, like, if this is a finger, oh my, then then the, he's grabbing it this way, because he's grabbing it here, and he's grabbing it here, so the so it's like grabbing her arm this way and taking control of her, like, um, that's not a nice feeling. This is like this is like it almost feels like you're grabbing her forearm this way. These are form lines. Um, I think parallel lines are better. These, you know, they are going both sides. There are lines here too, form lines here too, and form lines here too. Therefore, they're form lines because they're running all across the form. Yeah, they are not connected, but uh, they are connected logically. Start from here, start over here. So dark here, nothing here, dark here again. So these are form lines which are like grabbing her like a doll by the rib cage uh, slash stomach area, like like a Barbie doll. I don't like that. This is better because there's nothing over here. It just starts over here and then ends ends over here. There's there's nothing to complete it over here. So this feels like you're feeling her rib cage area upper stomach because there's nothing to complete it on the other side this feels okay too this doesn't feel okay this feels like you're grabbing it over here like like this I don't like that parallel lines are nice that ribcage area would be called parallel lines I would call them this is nice just parallel lines on one side Faces make perhaps beautiful. You could have a face of a woman who is looking at you and she's making you feel secure and comfortable. And the face would be all you would see and it would be enough for you to feel like, wow, she's so beautiful. She's so sexy and beautiful. And then... Uh, getting to see the skin and beautiful clothes and the body, beautiful body, is just an added bonus. It starts with the face, the eyes. How the person is... Is the woman making you feel secure and comfortable? And nice? Look at her. She's a, she looks nice. Pleasant, pleasant face. Look at this. It's so beautiful, the face. You can, you can almost feel how her shoulder is. You can feel how she must feel, her, how her chest must feel, how her shoulder must feel, how it must feel to hug her as this child. It's because of the beautiful face. It's sexy because of the beautiful face. I would not call this very sexy because, uh, <laughs> that's an ugly face. Uh, to me, this does not make me feel comfortable and secure. Just like some drunk woman smoking doesn't give a shit about the person. The grace in the face. Elevates, lifts up the beauty of the body. I think uh, you must have seen a beautiful body uh, on a woman with an ugly face. It's not as valuable to the person looking at it. Unless you you know that person and you know how that person is emotionally, how the person functions internally and then you connect with the way they think and they behave with you, then that that is also a feeling of 
being comfortable and secure with that person, then the body becomes beautiful to you. Then it is a beautiful person. But there is no way of knowing emotionally a person without looking at their face, right? How is this woman emotionally? Well, she looks like a model to me who is just doing her job. There's a there's no eye contact. I can't tell what uh, how, what my relationship is with her. She's like she's like sitting there posing for Andrew Loomis, doing her job. Her boobs are nice. He's done a blocky job at the highlight, which is nice. But if look at this, this is better, isn't it? It's not nude, but still better. Beautiful face. She's looking at you, eye contact. You're feeling some emotion, some connection with her. Some connection between me, you know. You, you and her, me and her, like that. Between me and her, between you and her, there's some connection going on. That makes her arm beautiful. These lines that are going this way. How beautiful her, her, her arm is. That's sexy. Kind of is really portrait drawing. The rest of it is just uh, sub, like a like a different, uh, you know, like a like a section that is that follows the section that is most important. Like a if. Uh, the face would be the title of the pinup, and the body and uh, the clothing would be the subtitle. Robert McGuinness. This is not that sexy, to be honest. She feels a little arrogant. There are much better ones, my goodness. Look at this. So beautiful. Clear emotion is kissing her nose. Some connection happening. You are him. Or you could be her. And you're looking at the guy. It, some connection happening. Emotional connection feeling of feeling secure and comfortable. Andrew Loomis painted stuff like that too with couples. If you look at his paintings on um, Google and Pinterest, lots of couples. There's one where uh, the woman uh, and man has just got married and the butler of their house is uh, adjusting her trip of her wedding dress and they're hugging in the man and the woman to me this feels secure and comfortable it's counterintuitive I know to the social standards uh, some person may feel like uh, the drinking and stuff and this is subjective. I don't drink. I've never had alcohol in my life. But I feel secure and comfortable with this. It is because of her pose, how relaxed she is. She's calm. Eye connection, look at this. 
She's looking at you. She's hot, like she's a hot ten. But there is a security in that connection, like it's okay. The eye contact has happened. You're not going anywhere. She's looking at you, you're looking at her. You're in that moment. Calm down. Look at her. That intensity of the moment is there in the eye contact. This background, the environment, this feels safe, cozy, comfortable. This feels cozy, comfortable, secure, comfortable. I love how he plays with these values. Almost feels like those are boobs, but like specially colored boobs, pink boobs, violet boobs. I like this. Her stomach is so relaxed. She's here. She's brought water. We're not going anywhere, just relax. It's, it's comfortable. Which is an emotional feeling related with intimacy. pretty she's gorgeous her hips her body her short um, build structure of the body she looks cute and nice because she's open she's looking at you and she's relaxed how relaxed her hands are she's here relaxes you so relaxed so nice beautiful Look at how relaxed her stomach is. It's cozy. She's sleeping like a baby. And we were talking about Robert McGinnis who painted Bond girls like these girls with machine guns and pistols and knives in their stockings and still they convey that feeling of security and comfort in that moment doesn't this feel nice in this beautiful vibrant vibe of a room cozy with her and she's standing relaxed posing posing for you, the artist. Look at this, so nice. She's here, her neck is exposed. It's that connection. She's looking at you, hands are crossed, low um, neckline, 
high amount of cleavage. She tilted her head, looking at you. It's in the moment. You have a connection with her. Then you look at her forearm, how muscular she is. 